a lot riding on a movie opening tonight in downtown St. Petersburg. Bernie the Dolphin is premiering at the Sundial Shopping Complex. The event caps off an eight on your side investigation. Getting the movie makers to film it here started years ago with taxpayer finance trips to Con. Yeah, but did those trips pay off? News Channel 8's Peter Bernard attended the movie opening. He's live at the Sundial with more. Peter. Hi there, Jen and Josh. Yeah, it felt a little like Hollywood tonight with the stars lining up for pictures and autographs, lots of picture taking. But it's the dealings behind the scenes that reporter Mark Douglas called into question. Here they are. It's amazing. That's your favorite one right there. Bernie. Filmmakers are hoping. Bernie. Bernie, save me. Bernie the dolphin. This is home. Makes a splash in theaters. It's a fun family movie. Eight on your side questions spending $128,000 to send Pinella's film commissioner, Tony Armour, to cons three times to drum up film business. Armour is listed as the film's producer, and he tells me, yes, it was, in a big way. This is a 9 to 1, almost 10 to 1 ROI on that trip because these films are a direct result of uh, going to the Marche du Film trade show at Cannes. Armour points to local crews, local actors, local businesses used in this production and the sequel being shot right now. This is the job. This is what we do is try and bring production like this to the area. The film's writer lives in the Bay Area. It helps with the economy. It gives people jobs. It gives people a chance to fulfill their dreams. And Ybor City Company was behind the production. A lot of people don't realize the economical impact that a local film can have or a film in general can have on the local economy. Film commissioner Tony Armour tells me between the first Bernie flick and the second, $1 million is being spent. He says it will pay off. Absolutely more than money well spent. You know, as he asked me many times, uh, you know, show me the money, show me the proof. Well, here it is. It's coming out today in theaters. It's a family oh, movie tent. <laughs> And Armour told Mark Douglas he plans to return to cons next year, and he's hoping to attract more movies like this one. Live in St. Petersburg, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.